Hi everybody, there are a couple of questions that we need to do in this topic about center of mass in the same lesson and one of them is this worksheet that is on page 6 in your booklets and this is to do with center of mass and I'm just going to read through the question so I'll read it like this so you can see what I'm reading. So in the diagram a, B and C show, this is A, B, C, show the positions every second of two ice skaters, father and daughter of mass 80 kilograms and 40 kilograms respectively as they glide together over the ice. At C, the father, so at this position, the father position pushes the daughter forwards so that she starts to move ahead of him. The daughter continues at sh as shown. So these positions D, E, F are the positions of the daughter. So the first thing we have to do is calculate the speed of the system of the father and daughter before they separate. Now if you look over here, this is 5 meters by 5 meters. So every second the father and daughter are moving five meters so their speed is five meters per second so the distance moved in one second is the speed so the distance moved is five meters in one second now then it says put dots on the diagram to show the positions of the center of mass of the system of father and daughter each second before and after they have separated and label the last three d e and f in the lower case so I've kind of drawn it on the board because it's hard for me to show it in that little paper. So the cent position of the center of mass before they've separated, I'm going to use a green, is right here. Okay, so that's it moves five meters every second. Now the thing is, because momentum is conserved, they're gliding on ice, there's no friction and it's horizontal. So gravity doesn't have a horizontal component. So the center of mass moves at constant speed in a straight line. So they're going in a straight line. So the center of mass is going to be here. So this is going to be little d. This is going to be e. And this is going to be f. So the center of mass continues to move 5 meters each second even after they've separated the center of mass of the system. Okay. And so that's, that's what that is. Then on the diagram, mark in the position of the father for each marked position of the daughter. And I'll try and show you, do I have a pen? Probably not. Okay, so if we, so the center of mass is over here and here and here. So at these where the bold lines intersect. So if you look at it, so it's like a seesaw. The center of mass is where they balance. So for the first position, the daughter is one, two, three, four little squares in front of it. So the father, so mass of the daughter is 40 times four and the mass of the father is 80 times something. So the father will only be two little squares behind it. So you've got to kind of, so the daughter is here at position uh, D, so the father. So they will be in either side of the center of mass. So the father will be here, okay? So the father is only moving at, a, it's, he's moving at a different speed, okay? Compared to the daughter, but at every instant. Now, this is position, so that's for D. The daughter is four squares in front. The father is two squares behind because the father's mass is double the daughter's mass. So mass times distance on either side of the center of mass should be the same. Now at position E, let's see where is the daughter. So this is D, this is E. So at position E, the daughter is five, five, six, seven, eight in front. So the father will be four behind. So this is the second position. So four behind. So the father will be like somewhere over here. Okay. And similarly for F as well. So this is D, E, F. So at this position F, the daughter is 5, 10, 11, 12 in front. The father is going to be six behind. So the daughter is 5 and 5, 10, 12 in front. So the father is going to be 5 plus 1, 6 behind. So you can figure out from here 
the daughter is moving nine little squares each second and the father will be in proportion behind it okay so that's how you get so calculate the momentum of the system of father and daughter so the way you calculate the momentum is the total mass 80 plus 40 is 120 times the velocity of the center of mass which is 5 meters per second so the momentum of the system is 80 plus 40 is 120 times 5 which is 600 kilogram meters per second okay and then you can calculate the individual momentum of the daughter and the father after they've separated so you can count the little squares that's the distance traveled by the daughter each second distance travel so that distance nine little squares times 40 will be the momentum of the daughter so daughter is 40 times um, goes nine meters four nines are 36 360 kilogram meters per second and the momentum of the father if you can work out how many squares the father moves in front so the father would be two one two three three it's 24 so the father only moves so father is 80 times three so you get 240 kilogram meters per second but if you add up the 240 and 360 you come up to 600 so what this exercise is trying to tell you is that the total momentum of the system before and after they've separated stays the same the center of mass moves in a straight line at constant speed so equal distances every second individual momentum may change but the total will always be the same so the individual momentum of the daughter has changed after they've separated okay she's going faster than the father but the combined momentum is the same as the initial total so i hope that made sense bye for now